Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth from 217 Creations and today I'm going to show you a wedding card that I have made for Weddings with the Cricut. I am the guest designer there today. The card itself is actually a gift for my cousin Justin and his new wife Selena who were just married over the weekend and their wedding was all red roses so as you can see I followed their uh, theme right into this project. The paper itself is from Kay and Company and I went ahead and used double-sided paper. When I open the card you'll see why double-sided paper would make a huge difference on this project as opposed to using single-sided paper or doubling paper up to get the same results. On the front of the card, I used the sentiment, Just Married, and this is from Tie the Knot. All of my cuts on this card have been done with Pearl Glimmer Mist. It'll be hard to see it in the video, but in person it really does add a nice touch. On the top of the card is a beautiful satin ribbon and pearl trim that I bought at Hobby Lobby and this was sold on a spool for $1.99. The major detail on the front is the satin rose that is melted on the card. And this satin rose is actually done with the technique that I demonstrated in my previous video of how to make vintage satin roses. And you can see the glimmer mist that I've used on it to add that little extra sparkle to it. And if you follow the link from this post on the blog, you will go straight to the video that shows how to make these. They're super easy and lots of fun to make. So the card opens up and I actually used Velcro closures and I used three of them to help seal the card. And these are pre-adhesive backed Velcro closures that you can buy in the fabric department. They come in a little pack and they're available um, at every fabric store I've ever seen. Um, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joanne Michaels. It's a pretty common item. You get several sheets of them for just a couple dollars. I continued with the same trim that was on the top of the card on the inside fold. The card opens up and the sentiment congratulations is cut from Sweethearts and the red scrolling that you're seeing in the background that is a custom weld that I did from home decor and the video uh, excuse me the file is available from download on my blog for free on the final part of the card is a matting square that I cut out of white linen cardstock and continued with the same trim that was on the front and on the inside fold of the card and then I went ahead and made a smaller version of the same rows for the inside of the card. The rows and the ribbon have all been hot glued to the card. So they'll handle opening and closing and all those other good things. And as you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful. I think this card would be great for invitations could be used for other occasions and once again that is from Fabulous Finds um, which is a wonderful cartridge has lots of goodies on there and as always I appreciate comments followers and subscribers and thank you very much for watching my video please visit my blog at www.217creations.blogspot.com thank you